In this video I show you how to make any visual, audio reactive. I connected the process of getting data of the sound to this null to send it to parameters so I disconnect it and start to creating it. At the end I will show you how to create that visual. To start the work, from channel operators, chop, there are options to input the audio to your patch. Audio file in allows you to select an audio to play. And you have audio device in. With this component you can select any source of sound like a microphone or a mixer for example. And there is an audio VST to use any VST plugins. Also beside this method to make a visual audio reactive, there is OSC that allows you to receive signal from outside of touch designer. That is useful when you want to connect live sound. Like revving from BCV rack. If you are interested to know about that please comment below. In this video I use audio file in. Select your audio file from the parameters. To hear the sound you have to determine output device. So connect audio device out and choose your device. Mine is the Realtek speaker. In the parameters you have some options to control the output audio. So now I have the audio input to touch designer and output to my speaker. To receive the signal there are two ways. I'll show you how to work with both. First is using audio spectrum. For the second way go to the palette then tools and from here pick audio analysis. This is actually made from several chops like audio spectrum. It works well and is a useful tool to receive signals. Ok. To use audio spectrum connect the audio file to it. The audio spectrum chop calculates and displays the frequency spectrum of the input channels. After that add analyze chop. The analyze chop looks at the values of all the values of a channel and outputs a single number result into the output. The output is one sample long. It can analyze for maximum, average, peaks and other aspects of a channel. I got these numbers and will use them later. To use audio analysis tool connect the audio file to it. Go to the parameters or change them in visual interface. Here you must turn on that you want. This shows you amount of the signal and you can change smoothness, gain, threshold of them or add a number to the signal. There are also these three that have 0 or 1 in their value. Turn them on and see this white rectangle to see if it work with the audio properly. If not, change the threshold to get that signal based on the audio. You also have all these options in the parameters window. Consider using LFO for them to see if any interesting modulation be made. After that add select chop. Here are all channels from the audio analysis. See the channels values and select one of them. From the parameters, change channel name to what you want. I chose snare. 
Here I have to mention that, from the audio file and parameters you have options to control the audio file. I want to trim it just to have the rhythmic parts. Ok now after the select chop and null. After this, some process is needed to get the numbers I want. I have errors here because I used other channels before. To correct them, I have to change the expression to the snare channel. You can just drop that null where you want. But here I made some changes in the numbers so I prefer to change the names and expression fields. I will show you how these are working I'm just fixing my patch. As you see my visual is working based on that snare. For some parameters I have to change the setting of the audio analysis to get signal sync to the audio. So now I want to add another select and change the channel name to rhythm. I added a null and now I can use it as expression. Like the dry wet for this feedback. So that every time the rhythm is showing a signal, the feedback shows itself. BTW you can change the audio parameters. You can use four types to change to trim. I just want the part of sound with snare and rhythm. To create the visual as I did, you need a noise top that has snare increasing the seed. For example I have this noise top. And this is the snare that I received from audio analysis. After it I added a count chop so every time the snare triggers it, its number increases. This will have different numbers so you can use it for seed expression. So it's reacting to the audio. After that add limit top and from quantize tab, Turn on quantize position and adjust its parameters. Leave this for now and add rectangle top. I made this one reactive by assigning a number to its size. To create that number, again I use snare and connect count after it. Add noise chop. 
With this noise I want to create random numbers but based on the snare. Assign the count to the seed parameters to change the chop noise seed. If I decrease the period you see the noise seed is changing. Here I increase the period to a large number so that I almost receive random numbers based on the snare. I have a math chop after it to adjust the numbers to what I want. You can turn on time slice from common tab of the noise chop. Add null and use it for rectangle size expression. Now you see the exact number that it gives. You can change parameters to get something appropriate for the size of rectangle. Add null and use it for the size of the rectangle expression. Look at the numbers you receive and make sure it's working well. If not, go back to the parameters of the audio analysis tool and change the parameters. Change thresholds to get exactly the proper signals according to the audio. OK after the rectangle, add bloom. Then add edge. Add feedback from the palette image filters. Remember I made it reactive before. Then add displace top and connect feedback and the quantized noise to it. From the displace parameters adjust center point and weight. You see the displaced parts are moving slightly. It's because I used ABS time expression for the Z transform parameter of the top noise. And this is the way you can use any audio to make any visual audio reactive. 